Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk and today I just wanted to do a quick video to show you something I've been doing with Umbraco V8. It's, uh, I've been creating a content app um, and I got into doing the content apps when uh, Lottie Pitcher did a good documentation page for showing you how to get started with content apps. So I did that and then there's something I've been wanting to do for a while and that is a live chat app. So I thought well this is a perfect opportunity to combine the two. So I've put in a live chat app inside a content app. So we've got this, um, so I'm, I've logged into Umbraco, I'm on the home page, I click on chat. And uh, the idea here is that say your content editors can talk about um, the page that they're on or the site in general. So um, this is within the home page. So I thought what we could possibly do is have chat that's relative to the to the page that you're on and you can have a bit of a history of a conversation that goes into there and then you can have maybe a global chat that they can all see so we can focus this down on just this one page or we can make it global um, so what I've been doing is I've, I've logged it in as two different people so um, on one side of my screen I've got I'm logged in as me and then the other side of the screen I'm logged in as a and other so if I reply to this uh, person and say, that's great, uh, let me know if you need anything. So that shows up there straight away. And also you, on this screen, it's updated. So A and other, the context is that they, they are the, the person who's um, chat it is because I'm logged in as them on this separate window and that's great came up on the on the left hand side so if I then reply over here on this screen and say actually could you get me a coffee please and then if you watch it will pop up straight away over here and I've tried to style it with the Umbraco um, styles and things like that just to um, get it working and also you can see I've put some relative time in as well so that says five minutes ago etc so um, what happened to the latest news article and then I don't know ask Bob so yeah, anyway, that's what this app is. Um, the technology it's using is Firebase. So I'm using Firebase for the database. So um, you can get free Firebase databases under so many transactions or a certain size. You just go on there, you create a Firebase database, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the source code for this on GitHub. It's private repo at the minute while I just take out my Firebase URL, URL and everything. Uh, so if you want to, um, you once once I've got this working so that you can configure your own Firebase database URL, I will share it publicly, the re repo. I'll change it from private to public, and then ev everyone can have a play with it. But obviously I know that this is only for Umbraco V8, so not everyone's got the... Um, or is able to get it running but if you want don't forget I did a blog post on how to get working with Umbraco V8 but yeah I just thought you might like it it's a good bit of fun there's still things to do and I'm going to create issues and things like that so that people can join in and contribute to it I mean people might not even care but I, I think it's quite good and uh, hopefully you do and it just shows the power of um, of content apps. I just think they're amazing. I just love the idea of it. Anyway, I'll see you later. So, oh, before I say that, um, thanks for watching. Please click on like, subscribe to my channel, click the bell if you want notifications, follow me on Twitter, CodeSharePaul, at CodeSharePaul, um, and hopefully I'll see you at the Umbreco UK Festival as well. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.